Toastmasters, and welcome again. And start there. When, uh, when uh, Sarah asked me to, to do an icebreaker, my first thought was I did that five years ago. <laughs> so uh, I won't do it exactly again. What I thought I would do is, is talk about the, the changes that have happened to me over the first decades of the 20th century. And I built a similar structure to, to the icebreaker around that. And what occurred to me is that uh, the, the events that have happened to me are very similar to the evolution of the forest. And I want to talk about that in, in three elements. Career, loss, and new growth. So, ten years ago, I was responsible for a business within an insurance company. In Canada life. And there were 40 people under my wing. And we were acquiring business from other companies. We were improving our systems. And uh, we were getting ready for record sales. It was really something. And, and uh, I felt that, that I was at my peak in terms of job satisfaction and, and earning potential. It was wonderful. And then, something happened. The next two or three years, there was a sudden change. The Redwood, that was my full-time career, came crashing down. In fact, it was hit by lightning. I had to adjust. But luckily, when it came down, there was room for a lot of little shoots to grow. So the degree of change was probably the greatest I experienced since my family had emigrated from Britain 50 years before. Today, I have my own business, I work from home, and I set my own kitchen. Fortunately, uh, I have been able to go back to school and to have time for uh, to nurture things that I wasn't able to do before, like writing, which I didn't have time for. And I have time and energy for passions like tennis, mm -hmm. for, for golf, and of course, Toastmasters. <laughs> During the, the last decade, we lost, in my family, we lost the last link to the previous generation. My wife's mother. <coughs> and, uh, she was uh, a beacon of generosity, courage, and love. And eventually her limbs became just too fragile to go down. And, uh, Eventually, it was her heart that came out and went into paradox because what was in her heart had been transmitted to the heart of everybody who she left behind. And sometimes, a tree, a very otherwise healthy tree, can be <coughs> cut down in its prime. And so it was with my, my own brother, just a few years older than me was taken from us just a few weeks later. And uh, there's a large gap in our parts where he went to sleep. That gap was not on On the other hand, the chair talked about my daughter. Well, ten years ago, after she finished her master's degree, she decided that she would take more learning, and she decided to become a rabbi. And from that point on, her personal growth began to really sprout. And her journey took her to Los Angeles, to Jerusalem, to Chicago, and ultimately to Queens, New York. 
I'll never forget that day when we were in California, and she was ordained as a rabbi. And another memorable occasion just, just a couple of months ago, when we sat along with many other members of our family in Queens, and she was installed as the leader of our congregation for the first time. Well, today, Rabbi Robin Fryer Bosson is the rabbi of a congregation of 300 families in Queens. She's a dynamo. She looks after, and she's, she's reinvigorating the, the religious life of the synagogue. She gives inspiring sermons. You think she was a toastmaster. <laughs> and her warmth and wisdom are put to great use as she counsels sick and dying of her congregation. Because the average age of a congregation is about 70 years old. She's my hero. She's the future. And when I look down from my tall tree, <laughs> and I see her spreading branches below, it's a great one. So the past decade has been a time of growth and decay. And I'm very thankful that the forest continues <coughs> to resume.